There are different types of allergic reaction, and the dental hygienist needs to know how to manage all types of allergy. With medical emergencies, we always follow the PABCD rule. That stands for position, airway, breathing, circulation, and definitive management. First, let's talk about a delayed onset skin reaction. We first need to recognize the problem. We would see flushing of the skin, edema, hives, and itching, but the reaction would be delayed from the time of exposure by 60 minutes or longer. Sometimes that means that the patient has already left the office. If the patient calls to report an allergy, we would want to have them come back to the office as soon as possible. If the patient cannot return to the office, we would want to make sure to refer them to their physician and advise them that if it worsens to seek emergency care. If a delayed onset skin reaction is noticed during treatment, we would need to stop treatment and provide care for the allergy. At this point, the patient is not likely in acute distress, so just position the patient comfortably. You're not likely to need to activate emergency response with a delayed skin reaction. These are very self-limiting and localized in the majority of cases, but we do still need to assess airway breathing and circulation. Definitively, we need to monitor the vital signs and observe the patient. The dentist may consider administration of an oral histamine blocker, or if allergy is progressing, the dentist would administer an IM histamine blocker. Obviously, we would like to identify the cause of the allergy and eliminate it from any future procedures. The patient would also need to be referred to his or her family physician for evaluation. With a rapid onset skin reaction, we would see the same cues as flushing of the skin, edema, hives, and itching, and it may include additional symptoms like conjunctivitis and rhinitis. Rapid onset reactions occur in less than 60 minutes from the time of exposure, and its symptoms should be managed more aggressively. Once we've recognized that reaction, we need to stop the dental procedure. Again, we would want to position the patient comfortably because even in rapid onset skin allergy, the patient is unlikely to be in acute distress. While the patient is still not likely to be in a life-threatening condition at this point, we still need to monitor them for worsening of symptoms. So we would assess airway, breathing, and circulation and ensure that the patient is not be becoming compromised. Even though the patient might not currently be in distress, an allergy that appears shortly after exposure is more likely to rapidly progress. So definitive treatment would be more aggressive than that of a delayed reaction. We want to monitor vitals every five minutes. The dentist will administer IM or IV diphenhydramine, which is a histamine blocker, and if it begins to resolve the symptoms, the patient would be placed on an oral histamine blocker for two to three days. It's important to note that any time a histamine blocker is administered in the dental office, whether it's oral, IM, or IV, the patient cannot be permitted to drive because that medication will make the patient very drowsy. The patient should also be referred to his or her physician for an evaluation and follow-up. If at any point the patient begins to have cardiovascular or respiratory involvement, call 911. Then administer oxygen and the dentist will administer epinephrine. Any allergic reaction that requires the administration of epinephrine also requires additional medical assistance. Now, if at any point your patient begins to wheeze or use accessory muscles during respiration, you should immediately terminate treatment and begin emergency management for bronchospasm. Usually a patient in respiratory distress will automatically sit up in an attempt to get more air, but if they aren't sitting up, you'll want to go ahead and sit them up. You want to assess the airway, breathing, and circulation, remove any materials that might be, be still remove any materials that might still be in the patient's mouth, and reassure the patient to try and keep him or her calm. If necessary, start BLS. Any respiratory distress with wheezing and cyanosis warrants immediate medical attention. Call 911 and administer a bronchodilator and oxygen. The dentist should administer epinephrine and continue monitoring the patient until emergency personnel arrive.